Classic has been on quite the journey over the last year and a half. From a complete annihilation, a destruction, if you will, of the entire blockchain, the death spiral, everything that's gone before and then everything after. It's been almost an unmitigated disaster. And that presented an opportunity for recovery. And then the Gen community stepped in and started to take hold and started to set their sights on a penny, set their sights on a dime, set their sights on a dollar. You know, we started looking at the opportunities that presented itself to create something from what amounted to, at that point, nothing. The most spectacular collapse in crypto is becoming the phoenix rising from the ashes. Now, before we get started, if you like this content, make sure that you hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell to be notified of future content. It would help me if you leave a comment down below. And uh, I'm going to start off with something that came up yesterday, just in a random uh, conversation that might lead to something that's super exciting. And that is this top comment right here. So I have it on good information that TCV and a group of volunteers are working on a repeg and the market module. Apparently, an announcement will be coming soon. Now, I had also heard that same rumor. And for that moment, it's just a rumor. However, the second person to hear that gives me at least pause and an idea that perhaps, maybe, um, something good is on the horizon. Now, what would that look like? Well, uh, and by the way, let me just point out, about two months ago, I gave you a price prediction. I said that during the next bull run, my prediction of Luna Classic price was going to be about three cents. So uh, what do we get from Derek, Kimmy boy? Uh, three cents. That's validation. That's uh, th He's looking at the same information that I'm looking at. He's coming up with the same uh, thesis that I'm looking at. Guys, it is, it, it is possible that Luna Classic gets on a run and does you know 300x from where we are right now we just have to have uh, a little bit of all of these pieces falling in place now what does a repeg look like is going to be probably the question now i've gone through some of the uh, discussions that are being had over here on uh, luna classic forums nothing really has changed dramatically here um the the global lunk burn program update uh, you know there, there's all these different uh, things that people are trying to do because they think that that's going to make it better. And, and you know, it's up to you to vote to decide whether it will or not. Uh, price action. Uh, I told you guys yesterday that we were kind of trending along this line. Well, looks like, uh, you know, in, in fact, that we're breaking down below that line. Now, the last time we broke down below that line, you see here, it got bought back up and moved back in that little realm right there. But, um, you know, the market, it, it really depends on you know, what the what the overall broader market does. I mean, Bitcoin needs to hit 50,000 uh, for, you know, some kind of big move to really happen in the market for altcoins. Like we're sitting right there, but in order for that to happen, we have to have it break out. Now, in the meantime, there's been quite a few governance proposals just popped up um, on the last couple of days. Um, L1TF, which is probably not going to pass the security upgrade because it costs $25,500 for that. Um, the repeal proposal of 11889, that was the paper job. It looks like that's going to be, look, it's going to be squashed. This is going to be squashed by the validators. Uh, if you, 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 you can't take my word for it, don't forget, uh, that happy caddy crypto, happy caddy crypto, uh, your guy, um, my guy, he's telling you every day, these validators, they just want status quo. They want business as usual because that's how they earn is stagnation so you know just remember that but hodler arbitrage trading bot and algorithm um this is a recreation of proposal 11859 because it did not pass <clears throat> uh the proposal is important to me uh it, it, this is um um I will not be rewriting the original proposal and will keep it as written in proposal 11.8 because I do not believe any more changes are required to the idea. And I've already progressed and improved the algorithm behind the trading bot to an extent that it's some further improvements. Okay, so what he wants is the spend amount required uh, is for the Amazon Web Server, which will cost me around 3000 for six months and my remuneration, which is approximately 7000 for six months. So currently I require $10,000 to continue my work. I can't continue this work for free because I need to dedicate all my time to it as it needs an intensive has to develop an algorithm that can only be able to queue among all developers of the entire Terra Luna Classic community. I've written at length about the trading bot and algorithm on my X account. Uh, you can find searching for hodlers on my profile. 
Um, and by the way, what are you getting here? No, there's you, you, like when you when you look, guys, when you come out here and you tell people, I don't have to repeat myself. Oh, I'm not going to redo this for you. Uh, but uh, can I have ten grand? I mean, come on, think this through. Um, you know, you need to put in a professional proposal, uh, or it gets rejected. You know, this is what it is. So, you know, guy, if you ever watch this and you want that cloth tweets um cloth you better put in a proposal that explains it to people where they vote not hey man <laughs> go look at my twitter and figure it out it's not gonna work that way uh so anyway um trading volume up 27 percent on the day 10 percent on ustc and uh you know going through here there's not really anything but you know what is the question now become what does a repeg look like if there is actually a repeg and you know what it looks like to me in my mind and i don't know how this ends up but um, you know, what it would look like is we can't mint any new USTC. So problem one, what do we do about that? Well, the fair assumption here is if you want to buy USTC, you're going to have to peg it to something. And currently it's trading between two and three cents. So the first thing you would do is peg it to two cents. That would then cause a, 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 during the repeg when you buy and sell or swap back and forth from USTC and LUNC when you when you swap those back and forth then you would burn originally USTC to the point that the value was approximately set. So that would be during the trading volume. And after it reaches two cents, that would be a spread tax that you would implement uh, causing that to happen. And then your goal would be to peg it to three or four cents on its way up. Now, the way that that would be accomplished is when you buy, uh, when you buy USTC, it would have a specific value of two cent. When you sell your USTC or you convert it to Luna Classic, then that USTC, a portion of that gets burnt, reducing the supply, creating more value. And another portion of that goes and buys a little bit of Luna Classic and burns that as well. So, um, and then, and then that's all you have to do. Initially, that would create uh, a little bit of burn on each one of these. And then when you get to three or four cents, which is the next peg, then you would peg it one more time to that amount. And then you would continue that process until you had successfully traded it all the way up to a dollar. You know, it would take a while. It would, it would take a while. There is no easy fix for it because right now there's $8.9 billion in debt sitting there for USTC. Then uh, let's say we get to 30 cents. And at 30 cents, there's, you know, people are just not trading anymore. You know, the, the value is starting to come down. Well, at 30 cents, what you're doing is you're relying on the fact that people are not holding to a dollar. They're going to take a profit. You know, if, if it's at two cents right now and you can 15x, there's going to be some people who want to sell, right? And, and as it continues up at, at 50 cents, 25x, people are going to want to sell. Not everybody's going to hold it for that 50x all the way up to a dollar. So you rely on that to happen. And if that happens, then cool. We just eventually were burning enough every single time. Now, uh, for Luna Classic, I would say the same thing that what you would want to do optimally is come up with a mechanism by which any fees that Luna Classic generates would be used primarily for the Oracle. Then a small amount, say 10% or something like that would go to burn USTC to try to speed up that process. And I think the important part is speeding up the process to USTC at first to get it back as quickly as possible to $1 because that's where the value is. Then uh, as we get into that range, then we convert, convert uh, the, the process of USTC and allow for it to remint when we get to a dollar so that whenever new money comes in, it immediately mints. And then when we sell it, then we sell it off and we use most of the sell price to buy Luna Classic. And then we burn Luna Classic. And what happens is the more valuable it becomes, the more Luna Classic you end up burning over time. So that's my idea. That's what I think the, the, the whole thing would look like. It would take test center because there are variables that I'm not even considering. I'm just spitballing to give you an idea of what it would look like. But, you know, it would be wild to see something like this happen. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that uh, using a spread text, do you think that you know, burning Terra Luna Classic uh, with your USTC and burning USTC with USTC when you sell it, uh, that's the, the method going forward and that that 
would eventually create more and more value and take this uh, USTC slowly but surely up the line until it hits the right price. Bearing in mind that there's 700 million uh, USTC sitting in a blacklisted wallet, there's you know, we have we have issues that we have to address. So uh, along the way, but you can't stop. You can't stop because of all of the issues. You have to figure out ways around those issues. So that's what I like to see happen. Hopefully we can see happen. But again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice. My name is Belize. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon.